ignore things we get in the mail. So is that March 12th through the 22nd? Is that what you said? Yes, yeah, spring break and all of their wisdom. Yes, yeah. yeah, we can we get the postcard, so do go on and get it out of the way and we don't just delay. Important to all of us are the roads we travel on here in West Arlington. And also equally, if not more so important, is the handling of the storm water here in Arlington, particularly when it backs up uh, behind your house. <coughs> so tonight uh, we have guests from the uh, Public Works and Transportation Department, Keith Brooks, who is this, the uh, Assistant Director of Engineering, will talk to us about roads. And Amy Cannon, Assistant Director of Storm Water, will talk to us about storm water. Who's first? And by the way, Hannah, we're glad to have you. I think we have a half your group here, huh? Yeah. Well, good evening. Uh, my name is Keith Brooks, uh, Assistant Director of Public Works and Transportation. Here to talk to you tonight about some, some a couple of projects that we have uh, coming up uh, in the West Arlington area. So I just wanted to kind of uh, give you kind of a preview of what's, what's coming in this area as far as uh, roadway and maintenance projects. So one of the projects we have is, uh, we call this a highway safety program uh, project. We actually got some, uh, some funding from TxDOT to kind of help us out with this project. Um, and this particular project's on Little Road. Um, as you know, in that area, Little Road around I-20 and 287, we've had problems with uh, people speeding, especially southbound. I don't know why that is, but southbound is the, the, the speeding is, 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 has gotten really bad in that area. And of course, we've been coordinating with the police department and things of that nature. Uh, but we just wanted to kind of uh, put some overhead signage, uh, digital signs up over each lane. So you'll actually see as you're going southbound in a couple of spots, uh, north of I-20 and also south of I-20, over each lane you'll be able to see how fast you're going. It'll be like radar to tell people how fast they're going. Uh, just kind of, we're trying to put emphasis on please slow down in this area. And I know with Little Road it's a, it's a straightaway. You can see as far as you can see. And, People are always tempted to speed. Uh, so one of the things we're going to be doing is putting up these digital uh, speed signs that will show you in over each lane. It almost looks like a traffic signal arm, but it'll have like a, like a, a digital uh, box, if you will, over each lane that kind of shows you how fast each lane is actually going. Uh, just kind of bringing attention to the speeding issue and hopefully people will slow down in conjunction with uh, actually uh, speed enforcement. So that's going to start this spring, um, should be done with everything by this summer. So you'll be seeing those signs go up. So if you see those go up, you'll, you'll know what that's about. Some of the future roadway projects uh, we're going to have in West Arlington, um, you know, part of, you know, part of our, you know, with our street sales tax and things of that nature, we have various maintenance projects that we do uh, throughout the city. Uh, one of the things that we want to do is uh, we have a concrete panel and sidewalk replacement uh, contract uh, that, we, that we renew annually and we go around the city and we, we, we rate uh, our pavement. Uh, we have a great pavement management system that lets us know when we need to uh, replace different roadways and, 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 and streets. Now there's sometimes that we need to re replace the entire street but there are also are times where the entire street doesn't need to be rebuilt the panels are still in good place, uh, good, in good shape in some places, and in some spots we just need to do spot repairs. So we try to stretch out that, those sales tax dollars and, and utilize and just fix the, the, the spots that need to be fixed as far as panel replacements. Uh, so one of the things we'll, we'll be doing, we'll be doing some panel replacements on Bow, Bowman, uh, Bowman Road, Bowman Road uh, between Pleasant Ridge and California Lane, and then also Perkins Road between Arkansas and Waterview Drive. So that work will start sometime this summer. And the things with these contracts is this is just the area that we're doing in, in West Arlington. We have, we have uh, maintenance, uh, of course, that we do all over the city. Like I said, we prioritize and, and figure out where we need to go next. Uh, but this is just showing you what's going to be happening in West Arlington. As you can see now, we, we also have what's called our street reclamation program. 
uh, with mislaid concrete. So our reclamation program is basically with our asphalt streets. Uh, so instead of uh, just doing a typical mill and overlay where we just mill off uh, the old asphalt and put in new asphalt, we're starting to really kind of recycle that asphalt, if you will. So we, we blend the old asphalt into the old subgrade, and then we, you know, we haul off just what, what's necessary, uh, minimal, and then we come back with an overlay on top of that. So you have a real solid pavement uh, once that's done. As you can see here, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of streets that we're going to be doing uh, in West, West Arlington. Um, right there at Bowen and Mayfield, we'll be in that neighborhood doing streets like Leonard and Sunset and Avon and Montes uh, and then Vernon. And then in West Arlington in the Shorewood area, we'll be doing the, the streets you see there, Beachwood, uh, uh, Edgewater, Town Lake, uh, Canal View, and Corinthian Court. So all of this is also going to start this spring uh, going into the summer. Uh, it should take about a year to get all that done. but these. These are just a, a listing of streets that we're gonna be doing in West Arlington. Um, as we progress and get closer to these roadways, we'll send out notifications letting people know uh, what's going on with their particular street. One of, the, uh, one of the bundle action projects that we're really excited about, now this was part of the 2014 bundle election, is uh, Poly Webb Road, so from Pleasant Ridge to Shorewood. Um, as you know, that's a two lane uh, county type road uh, we're going to be permanently improving that street. Uh, so it's going to include drainage improvements, we'll have street lights, uh, signs and markings, we'll have landscaping. And we're actually also going to install a roundabout on this particular roadway. Uh, we've installed some roundabouts in South Arlington and they've actually been uh, very successful. Uh, one of the great things about them, they have a traffic calming, um, it's like a traffic calming measure. Uh, it slows traffic down. They're actually safer than a typical uh, intersection or a four-way intersection. So we'll be installing uh, one of those uh, uh, sort of where that bend is in the, right there at Poly Web. You see where the little bend is uh, kind of in the middle of the project. That's, uh, that's pretty much where the roundabout is going to be. There's actually a, uh, <clears throat> there's actually a uh, sort of like an assisted living type facility that's there. Uh, so we're going to have a nice roundabout there to kind of slow things down, uh, give people uh, a chance to also have a nice amenity there. So the roundabouts, they can be decorated very nicely, so you'll have a nice amenity, but it also slows things down is what we're trying to accomplish. So this project is going to start uh, December of this year. It's actually in the design process. Uh, we'll actually have some, we're actually going to prepare a, uh, a design meeting uh, to kind of show where we are so far with the design, meet with the neighborhood. If there's any concerns or things of that nature, we can discuss that at that time. And then we'll proceed with the plans uh, going into construction towards the end of the year. Another one of our uh, bond election projects uh, was uh, Bowman Springs or <coughs> slash Pleasant Ridge uh, from I-20 to Enchanted Bay. Uh, so this is also a county type uh, roadway. Uh, we're gonna rebuild it to a three lane roadway. Um, we're going to do all the, the, all the improvements, um, like the street signs and the sidewalks and uh, drainage. Um, we'll install another roundabout in this particular road also, uh, sort of at the top of the page where it, it ties into Enchanted Bay. We'll put a roundabout there, uh, landscaping and irrigation. Uh, so this project is uh, actually slated to start this year. We've been in the design process with this and we're, uh, we'll be sending out notifications to residents as we get closer uh, to that time. But uh, this project will probably take about a year and a half once we start construction uh, this summer. And then the, the, the major project, and I'm sure you've heard of this, uh, TxDOT is working on the Southeast Connector. Uh, this is a, a, a massive project that they're going to be undertaking uh, my understanding, the estimate is close to a billion dollars uh, for this project. Uh, they're trying to make uh, this whole interchange more efficient. Uh, if you drive through that interchange going to work or, or wherever you're going, it's, uh, it's not as efficient. There's a lot of weaving going back and forth. Cars are slowing down, trying to get from one highway to the other. Uh, they're going to change all that with a lot of direct connectors, a lot of frontage roads are going to be added to this project. Uh, so this 
this project, uh, they're actually working on the environmental assessment, which is something you know federally that they have to do to make sure that the project is not having a, uh, a negative impact on the environment. Uh, so they're working on that. They should have that completed this spring. Uh, fund funding has been allocated for construction. Um, the actual design itself uh, is supposed to start uh, the, the late 2020. So they're working on the schematics. They have to get the schematics schematics all approved and then the environmental assessment that all approved first before they actually go into the actual construction documents before they start those. So this is a, a, a major project uh, that they've been, uh, they've been working, Textile has been working on and construction is supposed to start in early 2022. And uh, this is gonna work in conjunction with the, uh, the actual project we're working on on Bowman, Bowman Springs because we kind of need to coordinate the work as far as where our project's going to stop and where their project's going to begin in that area uh, to make sure we're on the same page with Textile. So this is one of the major uh, projects that's going on. We do have a, a liaison from the city that goes to the meetings and things of that nature just, just, to, just so that the city, that we are uh, in touch with everything that's going on with that project. So we have been involved as far as they have been asking the, the city's input as far as things of that nature went involving uh, the city of Arlington. So that's 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 the list of the, the, the bond election projects and of course the, uh, the Southeast Connector that's uh, coming into this area and uh, things that you'll be seeing uh, coming soon. But uh, that's pretty much the end of my presentation. But if you have any questions, I can answer those now. Yes, sir. How about Oakwood? I'm sorry? How about renovating Oakwood? Doing something with the street open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you just talking about like from Randall Mill? Pardon? It's like from Randall Mill? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, the, okay, so when we're um, looking at projects, we prioritize all of the project roadway projects. We have looked at Oakwood. Uh, as far as uh, what we've wanted to do was uh, to actually do a full rebuild of Oakwood. Um, that project has been listed. Um, you know, Public Works, what we do is when we, whenever we have a bond election, pro, a bond election, what we do is we come up with a kind of like a shopping list or a, a list of projects we would like to see done. Um, you know, assuming funding is not an issue. You know, you just, hey, what projects need to be rebuilt? And that's based on our pa pavement management system. We decide, hey, a street like Oakwood needs to be rebuilt. The issue is we come up with a list and we come up with our list of priorities and then that goes to a citizen's bond committee. A citizen's bond committee is uh, selected by city council and they, we, we show them those projects and we say, hey, we would like to see Oakwood done. Uh, the, the problem is the, the last bond election we had, which, which, which was in 2018, uh, Oakwood was not selected, okay? So we've actually been trying to get it selected probably the last two bond elections, to be honest with you. We put it on the list. Uh, it has not been selected. So we're, we're having to try to find other ways to try to see if we can get that project built. But we would like for it to be a bond, a bond project, because all of our bond project, projects, we completely rebuild everything. Uh, concrete, curbing, gutter, sidewalks, kind of like the two bond projects that we showed uh, there with uh, Bowman Springs and Polly Webb. Uh, that's what we would like to do, um, but we're going to keep pushing to try to figure out how we can get that totally rebuilt. There are sections of Randall Mill we would like to see get rebuilt at some point, um, but but that's the process that we have to go to. But we'll continue to put it on the list and see uh, if there's some other ways we can get that street rebuilt. But currently, it's not scheduled. Keith. I will say, Keith, though, I'm going to jump in here. That committee, they get a list of about seven hundred million dollars worth yeah, of projects yeah. that they have to pair down to about a hundred-ish million yeah, dollars. Yeah, like hundred and forty. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I just don't want you guys to think that you know it got your road got left off for some reason. It's right. just that is a huge undertaking right. for that bond committee for right. sure. Pleasant Ridge completion got left off. Also. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, on the work on Bowman Spring, you talk about the roundabout. Yes, sir. That there's a bridge just immediately north of Enchanted Bay across the creek. The creek there. Will that bridge be replaced? Will the roundabout take that? I know that Pleasant Ridge will eventually tie in about right there. Right, right, and that, that's the future. So that section of Pleasant Ridge from Enchanted Bay, Enchanted Bay, Bay. to Plumwood. 
uh, is the section you're talking about. Yeah. That's the section that's missing. Um, but I'm more interested in that right now, because I know it's not going to end up in the, the right. future. That bridge across the creek, is it going to, that, that's a dangerous place. Is right. it going to be replaced gotta, in this one? I got to look to see if we're going to, I don't remember us replacing that, but I got to take a look at that. Yeah, I, I don't remember it, us. It's, it's on the north side right. of Enchanted Bay. Yeah, I think we stop right at because Enchanted Bay. I don't think we go north across the bridge. Because it's a roundabout going to be at Enchanted, Enchanted Bay? Yes, sir. It'll be close, but I, I don't know that we got into the bridge. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. When you talk about putting something up for a bond issue, you put something up that has a level of difficulty? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so so what, what we look at is it's a couple of things. So when, we, when we're looking at a bond election, we have, we have a pavement management system, and we, we decide, okay, these streets are what we call red streets. So a red street would be it has an overall condition index of less than 50. So zero being the worst street you've ever seen in your life, 100 being the best street, brand new, we just finished it, we just did a ribbon cutting, best street you ever seen. So anything below 50, we consider it a red street. So we look at all the red streets, and we, just, we try to figure out, okay, which of these red streets